Hey folks, Dude here, coming at you of all things, Friday, 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 we made it to Friday, woo, Friday, 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 get to have some fun on the weekend, and it is Friday, March 11th, 2016, and, uh, well, you guys don't need to see my face to ruin your day for me to tell you the story that I'm gonna tell you about, oh man, talk about another shoe ready to drop, okay, you guys know I drink my, uh, ticker juice, right here, my ticker, oh, excuse me one second here, mmm, Mmm, mmm. Oh, Tigger goodness. Mmm. I put sugar in my stuff, okay? I don't put anything artificial in there. I almost never ingest artificial sweeteners if I can av if I can avoid it. I want sugar. So what's the other shoe to drop coming out of the wayside right now? Is of all things uh Splenda. Also known as Sucralose. And um they just found in, uh, well, <laughs> International Journal of Occupational Environmental Health, mice that were fed sucralose daily for their entire lives developed leukemia. Oh, and other blood cancers. Mm. Now, I'm looking at an article here on uh, KSAT.com, and it's the story, Health Link to Leukemia Study Finds, with a question mark. I I'm thinking they pretty much kind of know at this point, so let let's see what the rest of the story says. Sucralose can be found in 4,500 products. <laughs> You're probably going to find it. It's also known as Equal. It's also known as Splendid. It's either the yellow or the blue package. And uh, Mrs. Dude tends to ingest quite a bit of it. I, I think we're going to have a talk and it's going to be like, um... Honey, you, you probably don't want to eat this stuff if you can avoid it. Please, don't don't eat this crap, okay? I don't need you going down with blood cancer and all the rest of this horrible, you know, nasty stuff. Um, but the thing about it is, is it, it's not good, okay? Uh, <laughs> wow. They, they said even if you don't eat much of it, you could potentially still see adverse effects. When something causes cancer in high doses, it generally causes cancer in lower doses. The risk is just smaller, one of the people who was quoted as stating, uh, senior scientist at CSPI reports at eatclean.com. Okay, now some of the things you got to remember about some of these things you got to take with a grain of salt. Some of these studies, they literally, you know, like the old, the old classic one about rats getting cancer off of saccharin. Okay, literally for you to eat enough saccharin to get cancer, you would have to eat and drink something in the better part of about five pounds of this stuff per day of saccharin. Uh, now, if you guys have ever had saccharin, it is not a good sweetener. It kind of has a little bit of a sweet thing, but then it's kind of, no, 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 it's not so good. It's kind of like that, um, that other sweetener that they got out that's kind of like a plant extract and, you know, call it what you will. Uh, I'm not even going to mention the stuff by name. It, it might actually wind up here in my, uh, uh, annotations, but I'm not going to name it by name. It, it, okay, it doesn't taste good, all right? Stevia. Uh, oh, 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 darn. Did I say the name accidentally? Oops. Oh, darn. Yeah, stevia is not a very good sweetener. It's not artificial, but it's not sweet, okay? It's got this bitter, nasty, kind of icky thing going on. It's not good, all right? If I'm going to put something in something I want to be sweet, I don't want a bitter aftertaste. I don't want something that tastes like I've been licking an inside of a beaker in a laboratory, and I sure don't want to eat the stuff and then go screaming for the hospital going, uh, Doc, what's wrong with me? Things are popping out all over the place, and it just doesn't feel right when I X, Y, and Z. Uh, that's not going to be good times, and of course, anything like that happens down by the wayside. Curring cancer is never, ever a good thing. Uh, by and large, just use sugar, okay? Use less sugar. But use sugar, all right? Don't use all this artificial laboratory crap they keep coming up with going, It's a sweetener! Uh, no, it's not a sweetener, dude. It's a bitterner. It's a bitterner. It's not a sweetener. It's a bitterner. I don't care how much you say it's sweet. It's not sweet. It's bitter. It tastes like I've been licking the inside of, well, a science experiment, and it just doesn't taste good. I like sugar for a reason being sugar is sweet. It serves its purpose. You get it out of a plant. You concentrate it. You eat it. It's sweet, okay? You don't need to jack around with something that doesn't need to be something that you don't eat in the first place. Laboratory experiments. Ugh. Don't eat Splenda if you can avoid it, okay? I'm going to break up with this one, folks. Eat good, keep centering as always, always. You know what you love it. Just use sugar, okay? Just use sugar. Ugh, just use less sugar. Uh, diabetics, try to avoid sugar at all costs. But, you know, if you do, use only a little bit, okay? I'm going to break up with this one, folks.
Yeah, guys.